Hey, hey. Spring Love Bay, Simple Tarot. Okay, Aquarius. Let's get you a past life card. I'm not sure why I'm drawn to them, but I am. I'm actually drawn to um, many of these Oracle decks. So, there's got to be a reason. Okay, past life card for Aquarius. For this reading. Hmm. Hmm. Too many. Okay, give me just one, please, Spirit. One. There we go. Okay, we've got vows. So, in a past life, you took some sort of vows. Um, and there's something that's playing out about these vows in this lifetime, it feels like. Um, this could have been marriage. This could have been um, vows of some other nature. But there's something to do with in this lifetime. So if you took vows in a past life and broke those vows, it may be playing out in this lifetime something to, to teach you something. It's, it's almost like there's a lesson. Um, and then too, you know, this could be that vows mean a lot to you. You had vows in a past life. You're going through some sort of vows in this lifetime. And, you know, maybe you're sticking it out or you're toughing out or you're doing more than you feel like you should and you don't understand why. It's because you take vows very seriously. Um, I also feel like for some that, you know, in a past life, vows, you took them very seriously and you got really stomped on, you got really taken advantage of, and you really got put down, and I feel like in this lifetime, it's been a bit different for you, and now you're having to look at why those vows, when you take them, you should take them seriously. Um, you know, and... This is just, yeah, it's just got a feel to it that could be so different for so many people. So, I'm going to leave it there, and you kind of take it how you take it. You know, what does it mean for you? Okay. Let's get a Native Spirit card to go along with that one. If you look in her eyes... It's almost as if I just didn't know. For some reason I'm getting that. I just didn't know. We've got Dream Traveler. So, what are your dreams telling you? Where do you travel in your dreams? That's very important at this time. Um... You could be traveling into the past. You could be seeing that past life. That's a good possibility, it feels like, for you at this time. Shaman. Trust in higher forces. So, you're being told to trust. Trust in what is, you know, behind the scenes. You know, the universe, God, who's pulling the, 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 the strings, who's making things happen. Trust. Um, I feel like that, you know, you could have been a shaman in another life, or maybe you are now. Um, but this is very important that you trust and have faith in a higher power. Um, because they are at work in your life and you may not even realize it. Okay, angel message for the sign of Aquarius. We got two of them. We got crown chakra number 26 and transformation number three. So you may need to do some meditations around opening up or unblocking the crown chakra. Uh, you can find plenty of those on YouTube or you can actually just see it within your own space and your own peace and just kind of 
you know, really uh, bring your awareness to your crown chakra, which is right, do you see the top of the head? And just allow yourself to really know and feel and see um, the whiteness from heaven, from the universe coming down through your crown and really opening that chakra up. Um, it says, I know I am part of source and my life is guided by divine wisdom. Letting those messages come through, allowing, a lot of you are getting messages while you sleep. So those dreams you have, try to um, write that down. You know, if you wake up in the middle of the night and you remember something, try to jot that down um, because it's important. It's like you're getting messages that way. And when we have the three transformation, a journey within to meet my higher self and to find true happiness. So, um, maybe within your dreams you are meeting your higher self. You know, you are um, journeying within. Or maybe you are doing this through meditation. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Feels like someone is doing a lot of healing at this time. Um, what is blocking Aquarius's way? Okay. Five of Swords. This feels like it's, it's your own. Um, you're blocking your own self is what it feels like. Yeah, uh, two of pentacles. It's okay. For some of you, this is like the way you look at things. It's just, <laughs> you got to bring a balance to your own life. And it's like, once you bring that balance, things start flowing. Things start moving forward. Show us movement forward. Dummy. Yeah, you take back control of your own life is what happens. And um, you start protecting yourself where you need to protect yourself. You see, you got the Knight of Wands, you got the King of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. This is being powerful. This is um, being within your, your feminine and your masculine self. And really being that way within your creative self. So being very creative but owning who you are and bringing a balance to your life and really seeing yourself for who you are and not, you know, trying to hide yourself, seeing the truth, allowing your true self to shine through. Woo! Healing what needs to be healed. Um, we got the chariot here and... Yeah, they're going to show it. Thank you, Spirit. I get the big yawn, which tells me, oh my goodness, someone's doing some healing. Or they need to be. You know, that healing, you start moving forward with the chariot after. You do the healing with the hermit. Of all of this crap that you've been carrying. Wow. Wow. It definitely has to do with the past because we have the Three of Cups here. Yeah. There may have been a lot of um, past heartaches, you know, third party situations and crap, it feels like. Yeah. So, you know, what's holding you back, it feels like, is your own self, you know. And once you, it feels like, realize that, you start plunging forward. You start moving forward. And I feel like that, you know, owning who you are, you know, owning that you need to bring this balance. You need to see things for what they are. 
you get you gain a power within yourself and that makes you very strong um, after you do this healing work that you need to do <gasps> oh my goodness Whew. see lots of healing to do yes oh my goodness and I'm not sleepy at all but yeah yeah um wow spiritual path the spiritual path which some of you are on inner temple devotion tune in to the portal of your heart i want you to look at that and you see that goes right along with what we're what we're getting right here, you know, because it, going within and tuning within, uh, allowing source, allowing the universe, allowing God to really give you the messages that you need going forward. Often we block our own self from going forward, and that seems to be what is happening right now for whoever I'm talking to. Honestly. Okay. I'm writing down the title. Now, we've got for you Aqua Aura and Rose Quartz here. Aqua Aura. Healthy communication in relationships. This one's a harder to see. Give me a minute. Heart to heart discussions and clear, assertive communication help you understand and be understood. Rose Quartz. New or renewed romantic love is here for you. So, romantic love, new or renewed. Ooh, mercy. Tell me about this romantic love for the ones who desire it. Okay. So, you've, you, you, okay, now this is for those of you who want romantic love. You've been frustrated. You've dealt with a lot of sorrow. Uh, you may have obsessed about it a bit. Um, it feels like. Tell me. Okay. Okay. You are being protected and fulfillment is on the way. For those of you who want romantic love, you need to keep doing what you're doing. Have faith. Quit being frustrated and quit feeling the sorrow because knowing you are protected, you will be f having that fulfillment. Vict victory is on its way. A new passage is about to open up right in front of you. And this is someone who is very romantic. The romantic. So yeah, for those of you wanting romance, that looks pretty dang good. If I do say so myself. Um, and they just kind of just laid it right out there for you. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And for those of you who don't want romance, you know, you could have a friend that's coming along the way. Someone you may be able to trust that where you couldn't trust anyone before. Um, yeah. So that's what I've got for you. Thank you so much for being here with me. Give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe and share out the readings. Help to grow the channel. And I love you all. Much light and love. Till next time. Bye.